Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, I want to talk to you about installing Hexo on Windows and Mac. One of the cool things about Hexo is that it relies on a program called Node.js, and therefore, the way that you install it on Mac and Windows is actually the same. In order to install Hexo on our computer, we're going to need two things before we can do it. The first is Node.js. Node.js is basically just a JavaScript framework that uh, Hexo relies on to run. And the other thing we're going to need is Git. And Git is a program that you can use to manage different files on your computer. It, Git is like this crazy awesome program, but we're going to use Git in order to install Hexo. So if you have those two things installed on your computer already, then you're good to go and you can just skip to the end of the video where I talk about actually installing Hexo. If you don't have those two things, I'm going to show you how to install them really quick. I'm gonna head over to my browser and I'm here on this Node.js page. It's nodejs.org forward slash n forward slash download. And you wanna pick the installer that's right for you. In my case, I'm on a Mac, so I'm just gonna click this one. This node file should start downloading. And basically just follow the on-screen instructions to install Node. Once Node.js is installed, you can just close and I'll move it to trash. And we want to just real quick test to make sure that Node.js got installed on our computer. I'm going to open up a terminal and inside the terminal, I'm just going to type node hyphen V. And this should spit out a version number. As long as you have a version number printing out here, then Node's installed and you're ready to go with Node. The next thing we want to download is git, and I have git open here. It's just git-scm.com forward slash downloads. And there's this little downloads page here. Again, I'm just going to click git for Mac. Once git is downloaded on your computer, again, we just want to run the git installer. And you just want to follow the on-screen instructions to install git. And then once Git's installed, again, we want to validate that everything was installed correctly. So I'm going to open up my terminal again, and I'm just going to type Git and then version. And a Git version should pop out just like that. So as long as you have the Node version popping out and the Git version popping out, then Git and Node are both installed on your computer, and we're ready to install Hexo. And there's one simple command that we want to use to install Hexo. And in order to install it, we're using something called the Node Package Manager, NPM. And this is a feature that comes with Node.js, and it's basically just a way, or it's, a, it's really a program that allows you to install and maintain other programs on your computer, and programs normally that deal with Node. So I'm just going to type in npm install hyphen g, and then hexo hyphen cli, just like that. And I'll click enter. So what's happening now is this NPM program is going out to its servers and it's grabbing everything that it needs to download Hexo. And once it downloads, again, we can just check and make sure that Hexo is downloaded. So I can type Hexo hyphen V and Hexo should pop out a bunch of uh, information about the current version that it's running. So as long as you get this message and you don't get any errors, then Hexo is installed on your machine and you're good to go. One problem that you might run into is a permissions issue. If you're on Mac, you might need to type in sudo before you install Hexo. So it'd be like sudo npm install g uh, Hexo. If you're on Windows, you might need to open up your terminal or your command prompt in administrator mode. But that's really going to depend on how your computer is set up. Once you follow these steps, then you have Hexo installed and you're ready to start building your first Hexo website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.